Hello everyone and good morning. You guys know that we are heading out of town today. We are heading to beautiful Park City. We've got a lot to get done today. We're gonna get started early. I just got back from a run. It feels earlier than it is. It's eight o'clock. We are planning on going up there, staying for five days, and it's gonna be really awesome. We plan on mostly making food at the house and trying to do things around, not be out too much. We're gonna go have some fun for sure. I figured for most of the meals I would cook at the house. We can even order in. I've made a list of everything I wanna make, everything that's on the menu, and I've gotta gather things from the house to get ready to go. I went to the party store yesterday and gathered up a ton of fun birthday decorations for Brandon's birthday so we can decorate the house to really make it feel like his birthday. And then went through, made a list of everything I need. So I'm gonna go around the kitchen right now and gather up everything. And some stuff, it's like one cup of powdered sugar. So I'm just gonna get some little baggies or containers and gather everything up, take as much as I can. getting everything put together. We're gonna take way more food than I thought and I need way more than I thought. This is madness. We've never really traveled to a location where we bring our own food, but since I can this time, I'm like, that's smarter. But oh my stars, this is a lot of crap. I went through and got the things that I could take in bags, just took a couple cups of each of those because I know I need like maybe one or two cups, but I wasn't sure, so I just took a huge bag to bring home whatever I don't use. Baking soda, because it is the 4th of July, I'm gonna make some treats that have red and blue food color. I needed coconut extract. I don't know if the house is gonna have nine by 13s and I had these on hand, so I decided to bring them. Just a lot of stuff. The kids are gonna want snacks and rather going and buying snacks, let's just take what we have. Fourth of July and birthday decor. My list here is going. Everything that's circled is from the refrigerator. So I have a lot more to pack, but I'm gonna do that just before we leave. Start packing up to head out of town. Now it's time to fill the car with food. We have got food for days here, Mom. Are we staying a month? What's the plan? No, we're just a huge family. <laughs> yes, we are. We are a big family. We love to eat junk when we travel. So we got a bunch of it right here. We're gonna load up the car. I guess that's why. Bags of food. Like we got Maddie. Maddie. Rummaging the Look fridge. at that. Suitcases. Gotta throw these in the car. We're gonna find a place for all this. We got human beings, suitcases, and food. All gotta fit in the car as we load up and head out to Park City for birthday week and Fourth yeah. of July, baby. Let's go! <laughs> Had to get a little bit Tetrisy, a little bit tricky on a new level here. We've got suitcases, food, kids. We've got everything now. We do have some tricky seating assignments here. We've got one bag right here. Somebody's gonna be doing some crisscross applesauce above that. I think if we put Hazy here, what do you think, Hazel? I'm gonna stay in the middle. Middle? Okay, we can do that. We can just move the bag there. Two kids can go back there. Three kids here. Two adults there. I think we're gonna fit, guys. I think we're gonna make it. And the most critical and essential part of vacation: the OH vacation shirt coming out, making an appearance as we head up to Park City for the week. I'm so excited. Now I'm just curious to see how many times we have to turn around to see if we forgot something. We can't fit anything else, so we couldn't have forgotten it. <laughs> Guys, here's our home. We have arrived at our home for the next, I don't know, a few days. We'll be here for the rest of the week, you guys. The birthday house, 4th of July house. Now it comes complete with its own wildlife. Look, there's a lion. There's a lion here. <laughs> he changed in the car. We are going to do a very quick and dirty tour of this house as we are seeing it for the first time. So here is room number one right as you're coming through the garage. Queen bunk beds. Queen bunks, loving it. Let's come in here. Bedroom number two. Oh, two queens in here, you guys. Double queens in here. TV, dressers, everything. Hey, love it. Let's go to the next one. Up these stairs. Big wide stairs. Love it. Oh, guys. Pool hall. TV. Party house. Oh, I just turned on one light and it just doubled down to this, bro. Look at this. It's kind of like a game room. We got the TV. Pool table. Next, let's keep going. Keep going, guys. Keep touring the house here. What do we got in here? Bathroom. We did the bathroom downstairs, another bedroom. Here we go, check it out. Ooh, okay, I like. Oh look, and it's own bathroom inside. Coming up the stairs, whoa, opening up into another, how many levels is this? Cause it's kind of deceptive. We're on our third level now. Well, this is the front door, so that's the main door. We came through the garage, you guys. So as you come in through the front door, main sitting area here. Whoa, look at this. Wow, this opens up huge. Holy cow, you guys, look at this. Incredible. This is what I'm stoked about. Just some patio balcony seating looking out over the deer valley out there fan has to you guys. Hey, look at that, BNG for Bing. They do that on purpose? Thank you, Bingham. Big giant fireplace, TV, hot tub, hot tub out back. Check it out, hot tub. It's very oddly like built. I, I remember in Park City, oh look, a huge dining table. Wow, we need to have some people over for dinner. Rexy, what do you got, what do you got? Show me, show me, show me. You like keep going up. Like I swear There's we're on the six third. Six floors. Wait, six floors? Yes. Wait, right guy. oh my gosh. Yeah, six floors? More than floors? Holy like cow. <laughs> so this is the fourth. We're on the fourth floor right now. This is the fourth <laughs> landing. Another bedroom right here. Washer and dryer right there. What do we got over here? More bedrooms over here. 
Cool. Another bedroom. Ooh, I like this bedroom. Maddie, choose anyone you want. There are plenty to choose from. I don't think we've even seen them all. Okay, coming up to the fifth floor. Fifth floor. Keep going. Tour continues. Yes. We found the best one. Office, a desk, fun loft, looking out over here. Wait, what the? Holy cow. Are you kidding me? This is a room. This is the level of a house. Oh my gosh, look at this. What the heck? The showers in. Love it. Oh, look at this. Look at our fun bathtub right here with like fog glass. Yeah, so you can still catch a view there. This is going to be a rad view, you guys, looking out over the valley. Fun tub right here. Sweetie, this room is... I think we should have invited a few more people <laughs> yeah, they... to stay with us. <laughs> oh my gosh, sweetie. Look at our view out there yeah, over the mountains. Beautiful. That is an incredible view out the window there, you guys. It's like a full sitting area, but it's just your bedroom. What an incredible bedroom. And now here we go up to the last, final, and sixth floor. That's your bedroom. More bedrooms. Wait, what? This is another master. Bedroom. Wait, a second master. <laughs> Look at this bed. What is going on with this house right now? Eddie, this could be yours if you wanted like a sick pad. I made a tour. Wow. Wow, you guys. So there you have it. Very quick and dirty house tour of this place today. As we saw it first, walking in with us. This is incredible. <laughs> Hazel, is this where you're gonna sleep? We got seven bedrooms and you wanna sleep on no, this rug. <laughs> The bunk bed did look fun, did look fun. Funny because I actually remember staying in Park City when I was a kid, we had like some family get togethers and my uncle rented a house. This is pre Airbnb, so I don't really know how we got those houses. But I remember specifically how fascinated I was with the design of the homes that they had five and six floors because it's not a traditional, like a six story building. But the way that they're built is that you take a few flights of stairs up and there's a landing, some rooms, then you go up again, some more landings, some room. So in the end, you feel like you're in a six story house in Park City. Six floors, kids are freaking out about it. Plenty of room, plenty of space to roam, to hang out, and to just chill for the rest of this Let's week. Celebrate the birthday boy. <laughs> If I've learned anything from Mindy's Best, it is to unpack and move in when you arrive at your destination. So I've just finished up unpacking, putting my stuff away in the closet somewhere around in there. I wanted to go show you right, guys. actually unpacked by yourself this time? <laughs> oh my gosh, busted and owned by my son. But I want to show everybody your access to the hot tub. Should we go, Sean? Oh my gosh, you guys can go see. Go, This is Hazel's room. Oh, that's right. Hazel's got her own room right off here to the side. Thank yeah, you, Hazel. Yeah, she has. This is my room right here. Oh, take us in. I gotta take us in. We got the big bed, TV. We got the closet, all the plugs. But if you come in here, legendary shower. That's all. I'm sorry that was the shortest store ever just kidding come right here and we got the hot tub outdoor access. hot tub access right guys got an exclusive vip entrance to the hot tub i hear you guys in the hot tub i might add has got the most stunning scenery you could possibly fathom for a hot tub guys look at this wide open spaces open mountain i really hope we get some wildlife one listen to that listen to the birds i hope we get some deer wandering through here maybe some moose oh, you never know something amazing i guess something amazing. I don't know. It could be incredible. This is the view right outside of mine and mom's window. We'll be doing probably every night here in the hot tub. We plan on cooking up some burgers on the 4th of July. Just have a nice little barbecue. This is our own little slice of heaven out here to celebrate my birthday. Just to yes. be together as a family. Just getting away from it all. Slowing things down. Hanging out together as a family. Making memories. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Guys, all I wanted was to see some wildlife, some kind of deer, something to wander through this field during our stay here. Day one, night one, deer right there. Oh dear, this is gonna be a great trip. Getting in the hot tub tonight. Oh yeah, baby. All my dreams pretty much coming true. There is a deer Whoa. right there at the white tree line. We are hot tubbing. Deer side. We're gonna shut it down hot tub side. Closing out official day one. Today was a big day for crew with his braces and also coming to this amazing house. Day that this video posted is this guy's birthday, so make sure you drop a happy birthday down below in the comments. If Go show him some if love you if you can. Go on over to Instagram and wish him a happy birthday. You guys are the greatest. We're gonna have so much fun on my birthday. We have so many fun things planned. You've gotta come back. We're talking roller coasters, slides, all kinds of crazy fun stuff. It's gonna be unreal. We love you guys. See you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hello and good morning everyone and more than that, happy birthday to this guy. Happy birthday to me. Good morning. We are waking up in Park City in our fun house here and we got up, got ready, got ourselves dressed and I couldn't help but notice a little sign on the door right there and I said to Mindy, I literally just said this. I was like, wait, was that there when we checked in? What is it? Time to party? What is it that? It's time to party. And she doesn't say a word, just gets this silly little grin and she's like, follow me. And I was like, okay, we got to start the vlog first. We got to open up the vlog. I don't know what's following. I don't know what's coming up next, you guys, but I'm about to leave this room for the first time today out that door and apparently it's time to party it's time to party
Hey, birthday boy. This is awkward. Hello. Right this way. <laughs> Down these stairs. Hey guys, here's dad. Here's dad. Are we ready? Hey, look at this. This is a party wall for like taking my pick. Yeah. Yeah, that's a uh, little whoa. selfie my station. Birthday. 42! <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> Kids are already dead, they're waiting Wait, for Wait, holy you. cow, I've put oh. stuff everywhere. You literally have it lined oh, yeah. the front door. Little birthday hats all over the place. Yep, there's even decoration on the outside of the door. All right, Dad, birthday boy, here we go, dun, come dun, on dun, in. Dun. Oh! Last night. Look at this, you got happy birthday on the uh, antlers up there. You legit got selfie station. Yeah, we're gonna like, have a little props. photo booth. Look at this. How long does it take to hang each one? Uh, of ask Maddie. Room? She would know. She was the master yeah, decorator guys. last night. And I'm night. just gonna throw this out there because these are little things that I observed. I feel like you almost measured. They are so perfectly spaced. Could not be more. They really spaced. are. She did a hundred times better than I would have ever done. There so. is no way. Props to this those girl. Those are just like thrown up. You did this? Yeah. Maddie. And I just threw them up. Oh yeah, right. I'm sure she was geometric. Just like, okay, and then. <laughs> one You're more. such a nerd. Okay, <laughs> room is filled with balloons. Balloon. It's a birthday party. <laughs> Thank you guys, this is fun. This and is cool. yes, there's the sign over there. That is awesome, I love that. I love it, you guys, this is incredible. Well, happy and look, birthday. there's signs everywhere. Yes, there and is yes, cake. there's cake. Yes. Thank you guys. And I know Rag, I stayed up a little bit too and helped yeah, out with that. Yeah, stayed up till midnight helping us. Whoa. It is time to get the birthday festivities underway. How else would you start? Kale salad. Oh my gosh, no, this isn't yeah. Addie's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> this is my birthday, and it is time for some donuts. We can find rainbow sprinkles, I found perhaps. I a couple good places. Okay, we're gonna go to some donut shops. I think roller coasters are gonna have to be involved. Some kind of insane mountain slide. Sounds epic. And we're, <laughs> we're looking for a great place for a juicy steak tonight. So, buckle up, guys. It's birthday day. It's gonna be an awesome Let's go day. celebrate. <laughs> We have purchased our passes. It's kind of hard to talk through the mask, but it is a mandatory mask situation here in all of Summit oh. County. There is a coaster and an alpine slide here. The coaster is unreal. It is so cool. The alpine slide, one of the longest in the world. We're just gonna do the coaster here, and then we're gonna go do the alpine slide at what they call the Olympic Park. The Olympics were here in 2002. They converted a lot of the venues into fun park areas. So they've got the big ski jump that they've converted into a tubing slide. There's obstacle courses, and they've built another alpine slide there. It's made out of steel instead of concrete, and you can do unlimited rides on it for two hours along with a lot of other fun things we thought let's do the coaster here because that's the big attraction the coaster then we'll head over to that place get a two-hour pass and kill it over there for a couple hours what do you guys yeah. think of that that's gonna be, awesome. be really fun that way we're getting everything we want kids can do stuff over there that they can't do here so i think it'll be really great so first thing first thing out of the gates is going to be the, the coaster, coaster. Oh, wait, i don't think i mentioned this you guys we were not able to get a breakfast at all everything is closed most of the city is shut down which i think is great it's kind of fun that's what we wanted to do is get away from it all so we ended up there's like one little almost like a convenience store where we got like nest quick chocolate milks and muffins that's yeah. what they're called so muffins so that's what we had for breakfast. Breakfast was a bit of a fail, but the coasts are gonna be a massive win. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be so fun. Hazy, are you ready to go on this ride? Yeah. All right, guys, so we had to put the vlog camera away and then get a little bit tricky with the fanny pack here. Oh, somebody just went above us. Somebody just went over top of us, Hazel. So we're yeah. on this bridge that goes across. They carry you up to the top of the hill and then you go full send. They actually said faster is safer on this one because you are attached to the rails. You can't fall off. So they yeah. said it's safer to go as fast so as you can. To the trail. Yeah, so it's not gonna go anywhere. If you go full send, you get the most out of the ride and it's better for all the other riders. So we're about ready to go full send. Are you ready, Hazy? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna go all the way up this, and then when you come down, you do these turns, and you come down here, everywhere. Woo! Whoa, 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 you okay? Here we go, here we go, you good, you good? Oh, hello. 
right now. We're at the bridge. We made it. Hazel, we did it. What did you think? Ah, <laughs> Woo! What did you think that of that? Was so incredible. Was that awesome? That was so fun. Oh we, went, we, went again. we went so fast. I was like, if we're attached, I just went full down the whole way. Full send. Brexy, was that the fastest you've ever been on one of those? I got the coolest stories yeah. of like oh Maddie and crew going down. That was so cool. What did you guys think in who were in front of us? Yeah. Awesome. I thought it was so fun. It went faster than I thought. I wish it was longer. I wish it was way longer and you could go again. That's the problem is it's like a one time I know. Use I wish it done. was way longer. I gotta be honest guys, I felt like one of you guys was gonna slow down. I actually slowed down with Hazy because I felt like this is insanely fast. This is too fast for her. Yeah. She didn't care. She was screaming the whole time, but I slowed down a little bit. You Honestly. Crazy, cause how loud she was. You can hear I've her screaming. I've done that in past things, but when they told me it's attached, I'm like, well, it's not like we're gonna fly off. Just Holy go. cow. Send what a it. rush. What a ride. That was awesome. You guys, a mountain roller coaster cool. for my birthday. And I don't think we mentioned this, it's opening day. They just opened yeah, today, this is their first day. First day up, so awesome, way to celebrate. Beautiful day, yeah, this is awesome, guys. Small, mild, moderate change of plans. We are back here at the crib at the house chilling right now. We've decided that to break it up to have kind of some action, fun adventure on more than just today. We're gonna do the Arby's eating contest. No wait, we're gonna do the <laughs> Early fries, fries, anyone? <laughs> We're gonna do the Olympic jump slide, the alpine slide, the zip line. We're gonna move all that to tomorrow, you guys. We're gonna come back here, take a little rest, chill here at the house. Mom's got a dessert to make, a fun special birthday dessert for the bizzle, I guess. It's gonna be delicious. <laughs> I think it's gonna be fantastic. And then we have a special surprise visitor or two coming tonight to the house. Very fun dinner. It's a little steakhouse nearby called the Chop and Slop. It's called Chop House or something. We just keep joking, it's the and Chop it's and Slop. It's called the Grub. <laughs> Why am I calling it chop anything? We're gonna just gather ourselves together, rest up a little bit, because that's one of the things that we wanted to do while on this trip is take some time to just breathe, to just relax. We don't yes. have to be go, 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 one activity to the next. So we got there at that park. We had like 40 minutes till our time would come up to do all those fun slides and zip lines. Like, why don't we just go chill? Like, who says we have to go hard right now? Then we also might mix it up tomorrow with some adventure and some shopping. Like, we do an adventure activity and a chill activity every day while we're here. I think it's the perfect Hello. layout. Oh, guys, how are you? You're in? All right, let's make dessert. Are you so excited for your cake? Oh, I am so excited. It's a it's special one. It's special one. It's a special one that mommy's making for me. Special request, Oreo something. Brandon is resting, taking a little birthday nap. I think I haven't been up there in a while, but I told him, I says, go relax. Don't edit. Don't worry about anything else besides just relaxing. It's your birthday. All the kids are busy doing something. I'm in the kitchen. It's kind of fun to cook in someone else's kitchen, I decided. I brought up a recipe. I'm going to make an Oreo dessert. So it starts, I'm about halfway through. Underneath this white stuff is a layer of Oreos and butter. And then this white layer is Cool Whip, cream cheese, and powdered sugar. And then this part actually is not in the recipe, but I added more Oreos because I like Oreos a ton. And then I'm gonna put in some pudding. The recipe, the recipe actually calls for chocolate pudding, but I'm kind of altering this one to be my own. And we're gonna top it with more Cool Whip and more Oreos. He's like, I'm not really a cake guy. So we're gonna do like our own little twist on a fun dessert for him. I'm excited. I'm gonna make this and put it in the fridge and we'll have it later tonight with <gasps> Oh, I was supposed to say that. I'll have this later tonight when our two special guests arrive after dinner. We're gonna eat it up and I think it's gonna be really good. So we are out here on the balcony. We are rested, rejuvenated, and ready for an awesome rest of our day. But we have some surprise visitors coming. We didn't have turn-by-turn -turn GPS directions because their phones are still on a Ukraine data plan. Does that let you know who is coming to visit on my special birthday? So I just gave them turn-by-turn -turn directions over the phone as they would approach the street. I would say, turn left now, turn left now. I think they're on our road. They're coming up. They're on approach. Let's see if this is them right here. Welcome committee. Out here to welcome them. Right guys, clear down on the street down there, down the end of the driveway. Is this them? Right guys down there to wave them in on the driveway. Here we are. This is them. This is them. Woo! <laughs> uh, I think I'm almost more excited that I was able to guide them in. I like know. that was like a full. That was like back during the map quest. That was like old school. That was like pre-map oh, quest. Jesus! That was like oh, Rand God. McNally. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Woo! They made it! Oh boy, they have hats. They have hats. They have birthday hats. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, that was like the old Rand McNally days. We would have never found it. So <laughs> tucked back. There's no way you guys would have found it. Welcome on in, Papa! <laughs> and we don't have great cell service either. You just can't hear us up here. Just kind of part of the point. Papi! 
You made it! <laughs> now it's a party, people. Now it's a party. Hey, what's yeah. the name of that map, Dad? That we used to. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you can be my wingman anytime. <laughs> so you know, we're invited, Brandon. Yeah. <laughs> we wore the hat so you know Hey, this is the exclusive hat. You don't show up one of these hats, you can't come in. Hey, what's the name of that map we used to put on the hood, Dad, and like, map out the whole Road Atlas? Road Atlas. I keep calling it Rand McNally. I don't know why I call it. Is. it. That's it, is. it is. Okay, that's what it is. That's what it felt like. It felt like we were on the hood. And we were looking through. Perfect thing to do to turn 42. Mana and Papa are officially here. The party can officially begin. We're gonna go have some dinner at the Chop House. No, Grub Hub. What's it called, Maddie? Grub Steakhouse. Grub Steakhouse here. It looked like it was family friendly. There was another one we were looking at that looked a little too posh for our circus. So we were going to the Grub Steakhouse, bringing our circus with us. And then I have said that for my birthday, what I want to do is gather around the table, have some dessert, and hear all the cheesy stories about when I, I was born. I cannot wait to talk about those 18 hours of labor. Oh boy. Actually, I think it was 18 days. Just fast forward to how. How big he was. If it was 18 minutes if it was a second. <laughs> <laughs> Just turned the camera on and realized this is sitting on my head. I forgot about that. The salads are coming out. We are at Grub Steakhouse. Kids ordered up some fun pasta. Why wouldn't you? It's a steakhouse. I know. <laughs> and Brett. Ah, we're gonna try out some fun stuff tonight, guys. We got prime rib coming. Oh. We've got ribeye coming. I might have thrown a birthday lobster tail on mine. We'll see. That's coming. It's my birthday. The salads just came out. Yeah. Some delicious warm bread. We've got some of our starters coming. The meal is about to come. I'm so hungry and so. This ready. is gonna be the perfect birthday dinner in Park City, you guys. Oh wow. <laughs> we are back from dinner, just finished up. It was pretty good. Did you think it, it was, was good? It was delicious. I liked it. It was good. When we booked this place, you guys, the one thing that I had in mind, and when I looked at the photos and I saw the pictures, there was this porch and these two chairs. And I thought, <laughs> if I want on my birthday, I want to sit on the porch with my dad and just stare out at the view. Now, I know that is such an old man thing that my dad has done that my whole I'm life. I'm an old man. <laughs> <laughs> and I am too now. So my whole life, my dad has appreciated views and vistas and he's slowed the car down to look at the moon just over the mountains and all these things. And as a kid, I was like, oh, who cares, man? Just keep going. Keep going, yeah. And now that I'm here, I just appreciate it so much and I knew nobody could appreciate it as much as my pop. That's right. You're doing exactly what I want to be doing on my birthday right now, sitting here on the porch, staring out at this beautiful view and just talking about old times. Yeah, I love it. Dream love come it. true, you guys. We are going to take a break from our porch sitting and our view finding. Our, oh, jeez, I keep doing that. Oh, if I could have caught it, it'd be so cool. But those reflexes slow down when you get older. Okay, we are going to have the real treat of the night. This dessert mom has made a delicious Oreo something. I don't even know what. Oh, even with a sparkly, blingy happy birthday. You are the best. And the A is the birthday hat. We're gonna sing a little happy birthday. Mana has a very special way they're gonna sing it to me, I think. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna teach it to you. And we're right? gonna dive into the good dessert right now. Anytime you're after 40, you go, Happy birthday, oh, happy birthday. We are going to close out this birthday party. And Although honestly, the party is still gone. Oh wow, is it okay? I do not have the energy that these guys have, but that's because I am now 42 guys. That comes with the territory. Get you to bed. <laughs> we finished out the night in the exact way that I wanted to and that I had hoped. That's why I wanted my parents to come out here and be with us today. I just wanted to tell cheesy stories. And we did. We <laughs> laughed our heads off. We sat on the couch right there and just told stories of when I was a kid, hilarious memories that they had of me just being a goofball growing up. It was so up. fun. Even the kids were like totally interested in it. They like, were enthralled, just like yeah. staring at 
pregnant Mana hanging on her every word to see what was going to happen next. How does the story end? And what was cool for us is that Mindy yawned through the whole thing. No, it's good. I'm sorry. <laughs> what was cool for us though is that we were able to like, as they were telling us stories, we were thinking of stories of our own oh, that we have with these kids. It was so weird. And like, man, the circle of life, it's crazy. Life and time and the things that matter most. Guys, and I think Brandon's getting older. I might be getting old, you guys, because I'm really valuing just time spent with the people that you love, memories that you make, the stories that you'll eventually tell. It's so much more than anything else you can amass in life. Oh. Titles, money, anything. There's nothing bigger, better, that means more than spending time with people that you love and creating memories and creating your own stories to share. <laughs> it is late. By our family standards, it is insanely late. It is 11 o'clock. It's almost not my birthday anymore. In one hour, it will no longer be my birthday. But tomorrow, we do have a ton of fun in store. We're Combination of adventure, thrill seeking on the Alpine slide. We're gonna be doing some shopping. We're gonna be doing some eating because that's how we do it. Make sure you come back the rest of this week. We've got a ton of fun stuff coming up, you guys. We love you. Thanks for being a part of my birthday, part of our lives every day. all the amazing comments, messages, DMs, all the things that you guys sent to this we guy. We spent a good portion of today going through those and just feeling the love from you guys. So yes, thank you so much. We love you guys and we will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Hello and good morning, everyone. <laughs> DJ. <laughs> She's the DJ. She's, She's been DJ. spinning DJ. tunes over here. It's going to be lit. It's going to be so lit because mom sure it is lit. <laughs> Shirt. You do. <laughs> and Maddie's got the matching one. Just kidding, nobody knows that inside joke, but she doesn't like the shirt. Go on over to our stores and you'll know what I'm talking about. But you guys, we are starting out today. Post birthday, Brandon's older, celebration is done. So we are going to be having a delicious breakfast. Guys, look at this. Mom has been up early this morning cooking up breakfast for everybody. Now I gotta say, kids slept in phenomenally. Casey and Maddie slept in until like 9.30 almost. I'm like at 9.45. Casey slept until 10, even later. These boys who slept until 8, which is huge for them. Back to sleep. Okay, I'm glad you went back to sleep. <laughs> late, late night last night with Mon and Papa here was the that perfect was so finish fun. to the birthday. I put the vlog together, just uploaded it right now, and you guys, it's just a fun memory of an amazing day. We are ready for another amazing day today. Kicking it off with the best breakfast I think I've ever seen on vacation, you guys. Who's ready to eat? I mean, eat. Me. <laughs> We are headed out, loading up right now, dressed, ready to rock. Out of the gates, first thing we're gonna do is do some shopping. Kids wanna do some sushi shopping. I got I some think that'd be fun. birthday cash from Mana and Papa, Ooh. burning a hole in my pocket. So we're gonna go for some fun stuff at the outlets. The outlet malls here are open. So we're gonna do some Face shopping masks today. It's required. We're gonna book the fun adventures like the Alpine slide, zipline, and stuff like that, but it is booked up for today. So we move that to tomorrow. So on the 4th of July, we have an fun. epic day of fun. Yeah, so I that's gonna, gonna be, be incredible. So today, outlets, maybe some Main Street, maybe some dinner, maybe yeah. some fun. Who knows? We got Rye Guy, we got it all. Feeling oh, festive today, guys. A lot of red, white, and blue. One day early, There's but mom packed a lot of it for the whole week, so it just works. Here's the thing with white shoes, dude. They look amazing the day you walk out of the store with them. About an hour later, not as amazing. <laughs> but they're crisp, dude. I love them. Yeah. We are here at the outlet malls doing some shopping. The kids need some shoes today. We're looking for some fun souvenirs, traditional normal shopping combined with some souvenir shopping because we are on vacation. But I did want to let you guys know that we have tried to upload the vlog. We had it up two and a half hours early today. Successfully uploaded. The internet's fantastic at the place. No problems there. But on YouTube's end, it got stuck on the processing side. So it has said 0% processed for now over three hours. So I am sitting here on a concrete piece of loneliness while the family shops. And I'm trying to get this uploaded for you guys. You can see it's going here off the Wi-Fi on my phone. We are at 19 percent about 30 minutes left just trying to get this uploaded the only real frustrating thing you guys is that i just take a lot of pride in getting that up for you guys on time every single day and so i stayed up extra late last night on my birthday got up extra early to make sure there would be no problems no hang-ups and it actually uploaded i was so excited to upload it successfully early plenty of time and to have this technical hang-up on the back end something that we don't have control over was a little bit frustrating today but kids are knocking out some shoe shopping while i sit and baby this until it is uploaded for you guys we do apologize for the delay on that have some serious success once I leave. So while I was here getting the vlog uploaded, which by the way has uploaded, is successfully uploaded, it is there. These guys found some shoes. I heard a little BOGO, a little buy one, get one half off sale going on. Sounds like we ended up getting four pairs of shoes. Kids all found a pair of shoes. Hazy, I kind of chose hers for her for selfish reasons. Okay, hold up, let me see what they are. Hazy, what'd you get, what'd you get? 
Oh! Mom has those. I just really bought those for myself. Those Andrew. match mommy's shoes. I love them. Okay, what else did we get? What else? I love those Hazy Girl. Those are the perfect, They're perfect so get. They're so cute. And then Rye Guy was trying on shoes, and he's just like, oh, I really need a nine, but the nine fits like perfect, and so I think that he needed to go a little bit bigger, so we got Wait, size ten. Hold up, hold up, hold up. First of all, size ten, mind blown. Second of all, did you just buy a pair of Crocs? Yep. You own a pair of with Crocs with sunglasses. With sun Wait, you can actually accessorize Crocs, dude. Yep. You gotta be kidding me. That is so, so sick, funny. dude. Okay. Yeah. Hey, two incredibly successful pairs of shoes purchased Why today. Why show yours at the same time? Three, two, one. Vans. Wait, Vans, 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 KKK. Okay, yeah. Oh, Vans I love it. What, you guys got matching same. shoes? Oh my exact gosh. Exact same size, exact same shoes. Oh my gosh, same exact size. Same box. Wait, hold Somebody on, so you guys me basically the other day twins? If they're twins, they're like, oh my gosh, that's so cute, you have twins. And I was like, oh, I always wanted them. But no, they're actually guys, two years apart. they're becoming twins. Same shoes, same size, two Savage Bosses, four pairs of shoes. This is off to a smash. I know, start. I'm kind of excited. We just need to find something for Maddie now. I told the kids as much as I love their Vans, I think they need an actual pair of tennis shoes, like athletic shoes to wear outside. So we are gonna be coming in and looking at Adidas. We've had great success with those. Here's something you probably don't know. Kruby is incredibly picky when it comes to shoes. He's very picky and it always takes us a really long time. This time he's focusing on, he's like, I really want white shoes. So I told him he can have one pair, so we got his white Vans. This time we need to go for a little bit of a different color than white. Something that can be worn outside to play and just have fun. Those are white, bud. Yes. <laughs> Lexi, these are sweet. You wanna try those on? Yeah. They're just like the ones you have on, but newer. These ones have a few holes in them. Two. Got a few holes right here. Definitely in need of shoes, guys. I love those, bud. Rexy, I really like these, dude. Yeah, I might get them. You like those? Kirby, still not having any success? Mm-mm. We couldn't find Dad. He's at the vending machine. <laughs> Getting everybody a snack and a drink, and then Mom reminded me that we packed snacks and drinks. Let's get out of here. Disneyland, Dad! <laughs> Apparently, mom did bring snacks. <laughs> Proper way to shop is to have snacks in between. So there you go, we're taking a little we're shopping break. We're getting sanitizer break. and snacks. Sanitizing, goldfish, Gatorade, Ugh. beef jerky, all the goodies. Fueling up for round two of shopping. We hit the lower level mall stores right now. There's an entire upper level up here with Nike and other fun things. We're gonna go hit the upper level next. We're taking it up a level. This is Heck next yeah. level shopping. What other puns can I come up with? Cringe factory. That's not cringy, this is cringy. Cringe lit. <laughs> we're kind of freaking out over the fact that Rye Guy's in a size 10 over here. So I'm gonna see if I can get him on. I'm a 12. If I can get him on, that's a true 10. Okay, sorry, it's in sport mode. Let me switch it to casual mode. Hold on, I'm sorry. Did you just say your shoe was in sport mode? Yeah. You gotta switch it to casual mode. This thing back is sport mode for running. Forward is casual mode. <laughs> Rye Guy, oh my gosh, dude. I mean, it's hanging out the back a little, but it's inside. I mean, the back heel part is up over my foot, dude. I can wear your same shoes, dude. I'm a big boy. Direct, now. baby, woo! <laughs> that is cool. Are you gonna go back to sport mode now? Yeah, probably. Since we're snacking, we can take these masks off. I don't know, I think we kind of just showed up and got here. Didn't talk much about what's going on because I was having trouble getting the vlog uploaded. It's kind of focused on that, but we are here trying to get some shoes for the kids. Mom wanted to get them a second pair of like athletic type shoes, yeah, like tricep like type shoes. Yeah, shoes that we can go play with. Yep, running shoes for playing. Crocs. Some other like fun like Vans type shoes. We're doing some like potential clothing shopping. We want to do some sous -vide shopping. That's yes. more like a Main Street thing. Hitting the upper and lower level right now. Mom is inside Gap with Maddie and Hazy. The boys are chilling here, back of the van style. Gonna fly the drone, eat some snacks. And then tonight I'm hoping hit Main Street, do a little bit more souvenir shopping. We're kind of having a fun shopping spree day today, getting shoes, clothes, all kinds of, just basically whatever we can get our hands on here at the outlet mall. I do want to say this, I did get the vlog uploaded, you guys. Took a lot of energy there. It finally went up while I was trying to upload it a second time. The original one processed and posted, so I just deleted that second attempt and it is up for you guys to view and enjoy the birthday vlog for the yes. birthday boy, the bizzle, but my birthday's over, so it's not about me anymore. It's about not America. Me. Oh, oh, it's about Brexit. <laughs> Hazy, what did you get? They sell little kids masks. I've heard are really awesome. We got Hazy some little teeny tiny ones for school and stuff. Aren't they cute? Oh my gosh, Hazel, I love it. You got some fun new masks. That actually brings up a great point. While we're out here at the outlets, obviously number one, masks are mandatory, but they also have very low occupancy maximum limits inside yes. the stores. And so you'll see big lines outside the stores. It's not because they're waiting for them to open or because they have some amazing sale. They only allow a certain number of people in the store at a time. And so with a family our size, sometimes we have to split in half. We have to wait a little bit longer to get all yeah. seven in. I just flew the drone. The Nike line is down the entire side of the block so if we want to hit up nike somebody ought to probably we go do. wait in line 
So we hit up Nike. Maybe one person waits in line while some of the other shop yeah. or something like that. So. But I do feel like stores are having great sales because we almost missed an entire season that they would have been selling summer stuff. And now we're getting into back to school. Because they were all closed. They're just recently open now with all these new guidelines. Yes. And so they're probably happy to be open back in business, selling yeah. to the public. And so there's a lot of great sales. And you do feel like once you've waited in line, well, I've waited this long, I probably ought to buy something. So you do feel a little more pressure to get something after you waited in line. That's the shopping situation today. A lot of lines, a lot of good sales. And let's, coming out here with a lot of good let's stuff. Let's go get more! We're starting to get so much. We might have to do like an after shopping haul. It's getting too much to keep track of right now. Honestly, like really good sales. And he told me he'd give me an extra 20% off. We are winding down, wrapping up our time shopping Yay! here at the outlet. Huge success, you guys. I feel like we've got to show everybody what we got. We got jackets, we got shoes, we got more face masks. Awesome shoes we got. Got some awesome subies. Speaking of subies, we're gonna go home, rest up a little bit. Then tonight, we're gonna go have some dinner on Main Street. Main Street do is some so more. Fun. Yes, Main Street in Park City is awesome. We're gonna do some more souvenir shopping. Get a some full dinner. day of shopping, eating. Just having fun. And honestly, just spending time together with our family. Love it, you guys. This is what these moments, vacations are all about. You. We're driving back to the house on our way from the outlet malls and just saw this iconic white barn They've hung an American flag by it and thought we've got to stop and take a 4th of July picture We're gonna post this one on the 4th of July, which is the day this vlog posts for you guys to enjoy So incredible white barn out here in this pristine field of glory just snagged an awesome full family pic We had these incredible bystanders that actually follow us back up here to take the picture for us Now we're getting ones with the kids so check this out on our Instagram at this is how we bingham very very awesome pictures have been resting, chilling here at the house, and I gotta say, this vacation has been pretty chill. I love the way we do something fun in the morning, run it to the afternoon, come back, a little bit of a break, kids get on their switches, watch some YouTube, I do a little pre-editing for the evening, mom and I maybe rest a little bit, and we go back out and hit it at night. I think it's been a good, good yeah. variety, good mix. Do you like it? Yeah, it's so much fun. And we feel like we're just kind of taking it easy. It's like, this is not really our jam. Like, if you know us, like, we're not really cabin-y, like, antler, chandelier type people in the mountains. Like, we're definitely more jet skis in Aruba. <laughs> Some of the dolphins in Bahamas. Go, Maddie! Like when you said that's more like epic yeah. roller coasters. Oh! Crazy rides at Disney World. Oh, no, we're over the that's definitely more us. Yeah. So it's been fun to switch it up, do something different than our norm here, and just kind of take it easy. Taking in the mountain breeze right now. Saw some crazy weird birds over here that we cannot figure out what They're they like are. Ostriches. <laughs> they look a little bit like ostriches. There's three now? Yeah, dude, there's three now. There's like a flock or a gaggle or a herd of them, something. A gaggle? A <laughs> gaggle of geese, that's a thing. Anyways, like, <laughs> we are literally just an autopilot chilling over here. The Ravellis are coming out tonight. We're gonna go Ooh. get some pizza on Main Street at the Main Street Pizza and Noodle Company. And do a little bit of sous vide shopping and then just like wrap this day up, living the good life with my family and my homies. Mm. It's been pretty awesome though, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're coming here to eat pizza. Just right across the street, we saw Ken Block's car. Don't know who that is. Google him up. World-class rally car driver, and also in my world, GoPro legend. So very cool to see his ride here. Got a home here in Park City. Didn't know about that. So across the Main Street right now, headed in for some pizza and noodles at the Main Street Pizza and Noodle Company. Pretty rad because we are a party of 12. We have this own private section back here, all to ourselves. Rest of the restaurant up there.
Richard had some delicious pizza. He had a fun, <laughs> yummy dessert. We even did a little bit of souvenir shopping. Maddie's got a hoodie right there. About to put it on because it's getting chilly. Oh my gosh, what a perfect thing to get. I got a fun little hoodie. Kids got some souvenirs. We have had a great time out here on Main Street. The sun is setting on this night and on our fun day here today, but we are probably going to come back. We do have the fourth that we're going to be doing some fun stuff here. Some of the kids did not, like Brexit was not able to get a souvenir, so we'll probably come back and get some souvenirs for him. It's been a great night out here with friends on Main Street. We just got back from a really fun dinner, dessert, Just a nice night on Main Street. Shopping. Yes, it was the perfect finish to today, you and guys. it was perfect weather tonight. This whole trip has been perfect weather. Nice mountain breeze coming through the house. Yeah, it's just been amazing, so guys. Awesome. Speaking of amazing, tomorrow we have so much fun in store, you guys. It is the 4th of July, America's birthday. We're gonna be celebrating big time. We're gonna be doing alpine slides, zip line, cool it's ski fun. jump, tubing hill. I don't really know how it all works, but it's but gonna it's be fun. Gonna be yeah! awesome. <laughs> and there's gonna be tons more partying with Hazy. We're gonna have fun food. Mom's got a fun breakfast, red, white, yeah, blue pancakes. I'm excited. So guys, do come back tomorrow. Gonna be a blast. It's our last It'll full day fun. here in Park City. Thanks for hanging with us. Make sure you come back tomorrow. See you then. Good night, everybody. Bye. And good morning, everyone. Guys, that's the 4th of July. I've got my 4th of July shirt on. I wear every 4th of July for the last <laughs> forever. And we are making red, white, and blue pancakes. Guys, this is incredible. They're kind of like pink and baby blue. But, but you know still, what? We're doing the best with what we either got. Either they're cotton candy or they are 4th of July. Can't tell. But honestly, look at this, you guys. Mom has brought food coloring to make red, red white, white. white. This. This oh, the syrup. <laughs> red, white, and blue pancakes, you guys. We have a variety of pancakes today. Red, white, I'm and blue. I'm so excited. Celebrating the 4th of July here in Park City. And you can't just have pancakes without some amazing coconut syrup mom we're we doing coconut, coconut vanilla coconut syrup we are getting ready to celebrate the fourth mom once again coming through in the clutch with some fun paper plates red white and blue, red, white, and blue. a stack look at that everyone gets a stack everyone of red white and blue stack. Hope you're hungry. this is going to be the funnest way to kick off today go, <laughs> i see over here also we've got some silly sunglasses kids and adult sunglasses fourth of july we got stars hearts spangled banners we've got it all you guys oh and look at this a cup of american flags America. Getting our hair done over here. We got the shades breaking out. Some 4th of July shades. Now I gotta show Hazy's hair because the boys is gonna be pretty simple, traditional, yeah. suave look. Hazy's got stars on her face and a star on her head. Look at this. This is Maddie and mom coming together to put a star in her hair through braids. it was super fun. It was actually a little challenging. She oh, needs a little bit more hair. Gotta be challenging. But I am How a little bit that? grateful that I won't have to do it for another year. <laughs> <laughs> it looks amazing. And then Maddie, oh my gosh, look at your hair, face, and overall appearance. Wow. Thank Top you. notch. Getting ready to go, guys. We do look a little bit, I just realized it's kind of nice what we're about to go do. We're gonna go do an alpine slide, ski jump slide, obstacle course, zip line. We're gonna go full send on the fourth right we're now. We're gonna look good while doing it though. We're loaded up now, getting in the car. Rag Guy's got a six shade. Now you might not know this, but Rag Guy and I are wearing matching socks today. When I say matching socks, I mean we have the same two pairs, but we took one from each pair. So we yeah. have one red and one blue. Got red, white, and blue socks on matching today. Also, this is kind of cool. We had just noticed that each day we've seen a new form of wildlife here. Day one, we saw a deer. Day two, some kind of strange birds. Today, groundhog in the backyard. We're hoping yes. maybe moose tomorrow, I don't know. Every day, new form of wildlife. So just love them being out here in nature, being out here in the woods. But now it's time to go full send down the mountain. Do some epic 4th of July fun. I'm probably back here for a little barbecue later tonight. Let's go. We've arrived here at the Olympic Park. Now, what's cool about this, guys, is Utah had the Olympics in 2002. You know what they've done is they've turned some of the old venues, some of the places where they had events, and they've turned them into like fun, almost theme park style rides. So we're gonna be doing some extreme zip lining, tubing down some ski jump hills, alpine slide, couple types of zip lines. There's like a zip line tour, and then there's like an extreme zip line. We don't actually know what there is available here, but we have like a two hour unlimited pass to do whatever we can do in two hours. We did just find out though that the line for just one of the slides is an hour long. So you wanna really strategize to maximize your time here. We can crush it as hard as possible on the fourth, guys. Got all of our fun matching clothes on. This is gonna be a blast. The weather is perfect. It's middle of the day, but not too hot at all. Nice breeze coming through, sun is out. Zip line looks awesome. There's a fun discovery obstacle course that the kids can do. They can't do some of the more extreme things, but regardless, something for everyone here about to have a blast on the fourth of July. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
first thing we're doing today is the Discovery Obstacle Ropes course. This is one of I Brexton's favorite things, so he chose to do this first. So the very first thing we're gonna do, the entire family gets to go out there, and then you finish with a fun little zip line back here to home base. Rexy Dill, you ready to show us how it's done? Yeah. Let's go, baby. I got going first. This is awesome. You guys have got the gear. We look legit, you guys. We got the helmets, we got the carabiners, we got ropes, we got everything, Hazy Girl. We're gonna kill this app. Braxton, look at you, bud. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. See how fun that is? Woo! Everything just wiggles so much. Brexton, you are leading the way, setting the pace. He's been the front runner on this. We're just following his lead. Rat guy's going out, crew's coming up next. Maddie right behind me, Hazy and Mom back there. Guys, we are crushing this thing. This is so cool. I just found out, so I brought this GoPro wrist strap that I haven't used in quite a while. I used it skydiving and some other things. I just found it is the only way I could get a camera out here. You can't handhold it, you can't wrist strap it, nothing, but it is mounted to your person, to your hand, and they will allow that on all the rides out here today. So guys, we're gonna be able to get you some footage. I thought I was gonna have to be sneaky with it. I'm gonna mount the 360 to my wrist. Do you think that would work? I'll try yeah. it, guys. I'll try it, I'll try it. Kirby, <laughs> no, dude. Okay, go, go, go. Oh, my foot came off. <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose. It just broke. Hazel, look at you. Oh, my goodness. All by yourself. I am so proud of you. Hazel, holy cow. I'm getting nervous. The rag guy up here going across. Brexton's still blazing the trail. Crew waiting to go. I literally just fell through this. One of the ropes broke and I foot went right through. Hazel's still going solo. Maddie right behind you guys. It's a full family event here. We're just having a great, great time. Look at Hazel go. Look at her go. We are here for a two-hour pass. Wow, hold on a sec. There are no handrails on this one. It's just a floating ladder. Holy cow. Here's what we're working with. We've been here for almost an hour already. I have a two hour pass, but this obstacle course takes a minute. Holy cow, here we go. If we can get out of here and do alpine slide, tubing hill, and zip line, we will have crushed everything. And they say as long as you're in line for the alpine slide, before your window closes, they'll let you go on it. So I think we're gonna get it all in today. Good save, Hazel! Woo! How's she gonna go to the next one, sweetie? Oh my gosh, Hazel, you are a freaking inspiration. She like almost fell and then caught it. It's incredible. <laughs> okay, we just got to the end of it here. Just crushed the entire course. That Hazy girl, amazing. you did incredible to finish she it off. Awesome. You do this fun little zip line. You just take a nice light ride to the end. And we're off to our next activities after this. Yeah, that was really cool. Brexy, I love you, dude. Woo, Brexton! Yeah! See you, right guy. Love you, bro. Woo! See you, bro. Here we go, here we go. See you guys. Love you. Woo! Hazy is up next on the zip line here. Here she goes. Yeah, Hazy! Yay! She's doing no hands. Oh my gosh, she makes me so nervous. Hazy, woo! Good job, Hazel! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Come here, you little zip line and boss. Come out here. Look at this. You take this out here, and then boom, come on in here. Hazel, you did it. Was that awesome? Yeah. <laughs> Hold that for a Kinda second. We're gonna... scary. Kind of scary. Yeah, mom! Just got done with the obstacle course. It was that a great was really way to start. Fun. Way more fun yeah, than I thought it was gonna be. I was swinging. I went off with the thing and then I was like swinging. That was the perfect way to start things off here. It took up a lot of the time though. So we're gonna split up now. Some of the rides you have to weigh a little bit more to go on. So we're gonna split up right now, go crush some of the big ones while we can. Try and finish off with Alpine Slide. Just get in whatever we can right now. We've got the tubing hill, the zip line. I heard the extreme zip line is back in business. So we're gonna go try to do that. I yes. think we do that next. Let's do that next, should we? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm gonna give the 360 a shot wrist mounted here. I'm not sure what that's gonna look like when I go 360. You're just get a big old shot on my arm, but they will allow me to hand strap this and take it down. So I'm gonna attempt to take the 360 down the extreme tubing hill as well as the extreme zip line. You guys, this zip line is a massive. The tubing hill is a ski jump that goes straight down at 55 miles an hour. You can see right over there, you've got somebody coming down the zip line. A little more chill, but a fun long journey nonetheless. Then after that, we're gonna all get in line for the Alpine Slide. And this has just been a phenomenal day. So much fun. This park is incredible. They've just built a full blown fun amusement center here out of these old old ski lifts, ski jumps, practice arenas. What a fun way to use this stuff in the summertime and get use out of it year round. Brandon and Maddie and Ryler are headed up to do the extreme zip line. Kids wanted to play on this really challenging rock climbing. Here's Hazy, she's gonna give it a try too. Yeah! <laughs> the kids are having total fun on this place.
playground. It's actually way more fun than I thought it would be. They're just hanging and playing. Okay, we just went and got some water. Hydrating these kids. It's really warm out today. Just heard from dad, they're at the top and they're ready to go down next. So we're gonna watch them come down. We're at the very bottom waiting for them. We just got up here to the top. This is the extreme zip line. We are like at the top of the mountain. And what we didn't know was when you get up there, you just have your face in a mat. Yes. And then without warning, they just open the door and you go full send down the mountain. I know. I'm pretty it's stoked kind of about that. <laughs> They're about to come next. They are coming from clear up here, right there. Waiting for them right now. Like, are you ready, bro? Uh, Maddie, you good? Yeah. <laughs> it's weird just staring at a big green wall waiting to drop. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> there they come! awesome you just like sit there you're like up against this cushion and then the cushion like flips out and then you just go straight down. oh that's so cool right you liked it that's so cool you guys are good to go okay Woo. have fun guys oh boy here we go whoa <laughs> Awesome! It's so cool. You're just flying and floating. It's not like super fast. It's just like a fun ride. It's so cool. It was awesome. awesome. Do you think we have time for me to do the insane hill before we get in line for the Alpine slide? We got 20 minutes to get in line for that. I'm trying to maximize the two hours that we have here. I'm taking the lift up very quickly to see if I can get one quick run on this extreme tubing hill right behind me there. It is straight down. It's a ski jump. You sit on this inflatable tube and you go 55 miles an hour. If I can get that in, I can get right back in line, take this lift back up and hit the Alpine slide. We will have done everything in our two hour window here. On a bit of a time crunch though, because we are 13 minutes away from closing out our two hours here. Ready. Dad's starting to go. He's getting on the tube right now. Alrighty, yeah. thank you. Holy oh, God, here we go. Oh, oh. I wish I could have got a different perspective of that. The shot when you look straight down and it looks like a complete drop off of a cliff. There was nothing, there's no feeling like that. I mean, it's, it's fear the whole way down, then you finally make it and it's just relief and adrenaline. That was incredible. Last ride of the day, Alpine Slide, head up right now. Easy girl, have you had a good time here today? Yeah. This has been incredible. This park is amazing. You just got people flying over your head on zip lines, zooming underneath you on ski jumps, sprinklers coming on, chairlifts going up, alpine slide coming down, guys. What an adventure filled day. The lady gave me a sandwich ice cream. I heard they got ice cream sandwiches from a nice stranger, which is, you know, kids don't take stuff from strangers. My mom was there, so it was all cool. We got one thing left to do. That's the alpine slide. We're going to the top of the ski lift one more time, send in a full send. Be on the Alpine slide, then we're calling it a day here, heading back for a barbecue, 4th of July style, back at our place. Let's go! <laughs> you ready? Yeah. You wanna wave your American flag? Woo! <laughs> okay, this is cool, Hazy. This is awesome looking. Are you ready? Here we go, here we go.
We crushed that so hard, literally until the last slide down the Alpine slide. We were the last runs of our time slot. And then right as we got to the bottom, they opened up the three o'clock hour for everybody to go rush it. So they're back in action right now. You've got the zip lines going, the tubing hill going, but we got the absolute most out of our money on that one, doing every single thing we wanted to do. super fun. Full two hours plus, incredible, you guys. Now it's time to head back home. Got a fun barbecue on tap. We might have some special surprise guests once again, new ones this time. Who's it gonna be tonight? Stick around and find out. We're back here at the crib chilling illin it's the fourth of july we're about to cook up some burgers and hot dogs because what's more american than that but honest to goodness it is not a party and it is not a vegan family vacation without <laughs> now it's a party <laughs> Really, it is not a Bingham family vacation if Dan and Shell are not no. present, you guys. So they are here, gonna join us for some fun dinner. We're gonna party some burgers. And we made pasta salad, we made a yummy dessert. Guys, mom has gone out, she's got red, white, and blue rice crispy treats. We got chips, we got condiments, we got burgers and dogs. We got it all. <laughs> What's a deer call? Go, go, go! Yuck, 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 Careful, buddy. Look both ways. Look both ways. Oh, Hey, he didn't. Oh, oh, he didn't. Oh, hey, that wasn't a deer crossing, though. Is that considered jaywalking, or what do they call that? That was jaywalking. That was cool. Now, check out what mom did. Just earlier today, you saw red, white, and blue pancakes being cooked right here. Now, look at this three layer red, white, and blue rice crispy treat. That is next level, mom. These are so fun. I made these last year, and they're so easy. Look. Look at that red, white, and blue, all the layers. That is so fun. Love it. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Wait till it's done. Wait till it's done. <laughs> Dan and Shell have got to head back into town. They're gonna go hit up the fireworks show where Michelle is the featured act. <laughs> Cause baby, you're a firework. They're gonna go hit a fireworks show with Mana and Papa. So they're doing double duty tonight. Came all the way out here, a big hour long drive on the bike just to hang with us for a little bit on the 4th of July. It couldn't have been more fun for us. I know. Right up here and well, hang out with you. We are stoked that you guys spent a little bit of your 4th with us. So thank you guys so much for that. Go back, Thanks enjoy the fireworks. Us. Yes, I mean, hey, Very you're gonna come, cool. you're gonna get food. That's how we roll up here. W-B. This is how we drink them, baby! Woo! Look at that, look how fast it is if you drink them. Do you mean you go? Do you mean you go? T-I-H-W-B! It was the 4th of July! Oh, there they go, there they go, there they go. There they go. Mom, you have a- Oh my gosh, Mom! You're on fire, Mom! Oh, that's so scary! Oh, they're gone, they're gone, there they go. Sorry, sorry. Got rid of them. Sorry, that was too scary. <laughs> abort, yeah. abort! Oh my gosh, these are so this cute. This is adorable. Happy 4th of July. I love you guys. Can you pick up 15 of these? The sun has set, so we're gonna take this show on the road. We're going for a little walk, but we're not going for any walk. Mom has got us all glowed up. <laughs> we are What's so that? glowed out. This is 4th of July Bingham style, you guys. I don't know that I've seen this before. This is like Disney's Electric Parade, but our own personal version as we walk down the streets of Park City right now. Come was on a little adventure celebrating the 4th of July in style. We don't have fireworks, but we are lit. I'm lit. <laughs> I missed all these perfect references about how we're lit. Oh well. This turned out to be way more lit than I imagined because the moon is absolutely full just coming up over the mountains, lighting up the night along with us. So a lot of potential lit references right now, but it actually makes sense because we are completely glow lit. The mountainside is lit with the moon. This is the perfect finish to a very, very fun day.
We are back home a little less lit, but not having any less fun. That oh, was a fantastic finish. That was finish. A really fun. We did make like a little circle around the block and yeah. it was awesome. It was amazing. We got to have Dan and Shell out tonight. We got to go to the Olympic Park. We saw some fireworks. We dressed up in glow sticks. And this was a great 4th of July. It was a pretty awesome day. And it's been a great finish. trip, you guys. We go home tomorrow. We check out in the morning. Go back to our house. But the party doesn't stop. It's still summer. We're still going to do a ton of fun stuff, you guys. Yes, yes And will. you're coming with us for every single step of it. We love you guys. Love you so much. We'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Um, good morning, everyone. <laughs> Hazy, kicking off our last day here. Hazy, you crushed that. Wow, mom, you better watch out. Someone's coming know, for your job. job. We're here this morning eating some more red, white, blue pancakes because mom made quite a few. So we've got some I left. Did. I just made up the rest of the batter and I was like, oh, I don't want to throw it away. Perfect, I'll make it for breakfast. And tomorrow. that is an amazing day two breakfast. So we're pounding some pancakes here this morning, red, white, blue style with some coconut syrup. Delish. And we are also getting all of our stuff together to check out of this house today. I'm going to show you guys as we get ready to leave. We got all of our fun bags from our shopping spree here. We got all the food here to go back out into the car. So we did bring home some leftovers. I'm surprised we needed all the candy and chips. Actually shocking. But one thing with Airbnb rentals is every place has its own set of checkout rules, guidelines, and stuff like that. They're pretty similar. Most of the time it's just leave the beds you slept in unmade. Sometimes they want you to take out garbages. This one wants you to start the dishwasher. I don't think you have to do laundry, but maybe like throw the towels in the washer. I don't know. So you read through the checklist of things that you've got to do when you check out. The morning is kind of spent going through and doing all of those. So that's what we're doing this morning, checking under beds. You guys know that mom likes to move in entirely when we come to a trip. That's great in a hotel room. You just got like one closet and one bed to check. But when you're here, we've got seven bedrooms and nine beds, I think, to check. So we've got some under bed checking to do. And we've got some closets to clear out. So let's go ahead and get this going, dude. We have seven bedrooms and nine beds to get through. Not to mention all the closet space to check. You guys ready to do this? Yeah. Let's go. On a bright, sunny, Park City Sunday morning. We are loading the car up and we are headed out. Got everything gathered here in the front room. Mom is pulling the van around so we can just make a nice exit with all of our things down the stairs, into the back, and on our way. We got bags, food, garbage has been taken out, dishwashers running, beds we slept in are left unmade. I feel like we got everything right, guys. I think so. I Nintendo think so. Switches, power cables, chargers, Brexton's right. handsome face. Is that coming with us? No, I guess we're leaving that. He smiled. This one is. <laughs> But we haven't mentioned yet, it all seems like it's all fun and games today. Maddie is returning home to California today. But don't be too sad because two reasons, two fold here, two parts. Number one, she wasn't even supposed to be here this long anyway. We got a little extra Maddie anyway by having her extend to stay with me for my birthday on the 4th of July. What a sweet daughter. <laughs> but then also, guys, she's got her check-in day for school. She's coming out here mid-August. Like, we're gonna be getting all kinds of Maddie coming up here soon. So don't be too sad. She does go home today. We're gonna take her to the airport. She's gonna fly home. But we do have to say goodbye to her today. She's not for long, and that's what's great. We got a lot of extra Maddie, so that's great too. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, this is a lot of stairs. You weren't kidding. <laughs> That's it. We are saying goodbye to this house. We're officially we are checking done. out. Headed back home. Maddie's going home to California. We're going home to our house. We're out of this house. Woo! <laughs> We didn't make it far on our journey home before we realized Brexy Doodle has not got his souvenir yet. So we're stopping at Park City Main Street on our way out of town to get Brexy his souvenir. He had his eye on this really awesome like tie-dye kind of quarter zip jacket. It was fantastic. They just didn't have it in his size. So we're coming back to Main Street today. Now it's closed down. You can't park here. You can't drive on here. There's only people Which walking. kind of fun. I'm curious to see what's going on. I'm actually excited we got to come back today because we saw the signs that said on the 4th and the 5th it will be closed down to any automobile traffic so people can walk. Oh, they've got all kinds of stuff out on the streets. They've got tables out selling things. So we're going to go get Brexy his souvenir before we head out of town. I'm excited.
that was pretty rad. It's a big, gigantic solidarity down the center of Main Street, filled with all kinds of colors. And I actually got to meet the artist, took a picture of him and his family standing on. I got to think it's a proud moment for them. See his creation come to life. And I don't know how they're able to do that so well, so crisp and like tight edges. It's just an incredible masterpiece without being able to see the whole project. I wish I could get the drone up, but we've got the city is flying a drone. They won't allow any other drones in the area, but just a very cool thing that they're doing here on Main Street in Park City. We got another one down here. Let's see what this one is down here. This is what we are on the hunt for. This is what Brexton wants. He just has not been able to find it in his size. It's so Brexton. It's so amazing. <laughs> Mom, Maddie, crew, and Rag Guy just walked by Lulu, and of course, that happened to open right when we walked by. So they got some modified rules in there, six people in at a time, so that's more than our family. So we're just sitting out here hanging out while they do a little bit of Lulu shopping, mostly just browsing, I think. Then we're gonna head out of here. We gotta get back to our home because then I gotta get Maddie to the airport. So we're kind of getting into a time crunch here where we need to get out of here, get on the road, and get Maddie to her plane to get home. Brexy Doodle found his souvenir, the one he wanted. He's pretty dang excited about it. I think it was worth the wait. It is a super Brexy souvenir. Very colorful, very bright. It's like you do, the total stuff. <laughs> Mom got her souvenir. Oh, okay, that's cool. That was that worth cool? it. Show me, show me, show me. It's a tank top, so that's the best. That is awesome. Oh my gosh, Sudi, I love it. I'm kind of excited. Okay, that's a six souvenir. Souvenir. That's a six souvi, six souvenir, and yeah. perfect for running. Love it. I love it. Very, Fine. very cool. We have fueled up here at the gas station. We've also fueled up with some serious snacks and treats for the long hour ride home. That was like grocery shopping at the gas station, my favorite thing. <laughs> we are headed home now, hitting the road, to home. Plenty of snacks, drinks, and treats to go along the way. And then Maddie's off to the airport. Boo! <laughs> Just as quick. <laughs> It's really so bright. bright. Just as quick as we pulled into the driveway, we are literally unloading our car and loading up my truck to take Maddie to the airport. We gotta get there that lunch. quick. But you're moving here next month, so this is true. This is so true. It's just in a matter of weeks, you guys. We're gonna have Maddie full time out here. It's gonna be insane. So she needs to go soak up some more sun in California, hit yes. those beaches, hang with her friends. Maybe we can bring the sand back. Bring the ocean. Keep I the sand. Try. I want the ocean. Maddie, grab your bag out of this car, move it into this car, get to the airport. Kids into bed, we're officially back home with a traditional vlog closing backdrop in the kitchen here. I know. I love it though. I mean, you had fun cooking in someone else's kitchen, but it's time to get back to ours. I do love cooking in someone else's kitchen, but <laughs> you guys, there is nothing else like being at home. As fun it's as so it true. is for us to get away, coming home is always amazing. We, we just love, love our, our home. home. This... We love where we live. Yeah, yeah, love it all. So it's great to be back. Feels good. A lot more fun in store coming up mm -hmm. this week. I do have my follow up to get my stitches out this week. Some I can other... do them, but yeah, yeah. I know. If you want to go to the call. doctor, that's fine. I mean, if I want to go old school. A lot of fun, like you said, coming up this week, so make sure you do come back. Back. I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Oh, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. I got you, I got you.